Jodie and Killing Eve, you, your, one, your main accent is amazing, but then you go off and do the yeah. different languages and things. Like, was that something... I mean, obviously, we'd heard you do kind of English accents. Yeah. Uh, but was that something you knew you could do? Like, as a kid, were you good at accents? I've always, like, imitated, uh, like, adverts and stuff with my dad. But I was the same as Anne. Like, in the audition, it was like, you know, she, she speaks many languages, and I was like... Of course. Yeah. <laughs> like, so do I. And then, like, never thinking that I would, like, you know, it would happen. And then as each episode came through, I was like, oh, Russian, German. Like, they all, yeah, they kept going. Wow. What's yeah. your favourite one to do in the show? Um, I really enjoyed doing the Italian. Purely because that was the one I found easiest to do. French is really hard. And, Daniel, you've done accents in lots of films, yeah. but there was a couple of words, apparently, in American that you still struggle with. Well, oh, no, oh, not, like, not as much anymore, because I've had... But like, I remember the first... One of the first things I did as uh, in an American accent, like, the, the word girlfriend was very hard, and the word murderer. And I had to... I, I was playing a person who was accused of murdering his girlfriend, so, like... <laughs> <laughs> I get away from it. all of those things, like, <laughs> quite a lot. And it was just, like, every time I came up against it, I'd be like, girl, no, stop, <laughs> stop and let me go back. My girl. Um, yeah, but, like, doing... But that's... But accents is one thing, but, like, speaking languages... I've had to do... I had to say one line of French once, and it was the most stressful... Yeah. That I, Before every take, I forgot. There was, there's a lot of outtakes of me going, line, please, anyone, help! <laughs> it's, like, it's quite nerve-wracking. I love your Russian. Yeah in it, because it's so badass. Thank you. Um, and I was doing it a bit lately, because <laughs> <Look>. um, <laughs> when people come up to me and I'm just, like, not, not in the mood, <laughs> um, I've created this, like, Rush new Russian persona to What's throw people name? off. Um, Ivanka. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then people come up and they go, oh, hi, are you Rebel Wilson? And I go, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, what do you want? No. <laughs> and like and I just I try to try to channel your Russian. <laughs> yeah. At least you don't kill them. No, I don't. <laughs> so I have to say, what's extraordinary is you and Chris Pine, dressed in 1980s fashion, still manage to look very good. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I know it can be tricky if you go too much with uh, with the 80s fashion. It can look campy very easily. Uh, but it was very important for us to make uh, Diana look timeless and elegant. Uh, and I think that Chris completely, totally pulled off the, the fanny pack look. Yeah. I mean... Yeah. I mean, a lot of people wouldn't look good in that, but it's fine. I know, he's the only one. Do you want to explain why we don't call it fanny pack, Graham? No, I don't. <laughs> Judy, you've worked with Ken, is it ten um, times? So many times. It's not worth going into it. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have ten, worked ten, it ten times, times over, over 30 years, wow. uh, including when I asked her uh, about being in this. She was the first person I asked to be on the train, and she very kindly said yes before I'd finished uh, the sentence, and, and it was, uh, that was very thrilling because it made a big difference to, to everybody else. But uh, I used to go and talk to her about it in our dressing room at the uh, Garrick Theatre where we were, we were doing Shakespeare's play The Winter's Tale. And going into Judy's dressing room was always like going into the bookies. Because uh, you, like, you like your horses, don't you? <laughs> I do. You do, you like so, <laughs> She does, so she's there. I'm studying Shakespeare like a wild thing. She's bent over the sporting life, you know. <laughs> with the, with the, checking out at the three turn at Linkfield. And we were having a chat. I, saw, I go in there one night, having a chat. I said, so it's very exciting. May have Johnny, Johnny Depp maybe in the show. And Michelle Pfeiffer is always excited. Josh gets it. Oh, what's thrilling. She was sitting there with her, her dressing gown on. We get our call over the town. Oh, Mr. Brennan, Miss Dench, you're, you're, you're on. Uh, so she gets up, we continue talking, great, so we're going to build a train, and it's all going to be fantastic. We get into the wings, ready to go on, there's 30 seconds to go. She throws off her dressing gown, and there's nothing on from below the waist. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I had the quickest of looks, just in... <laughs> I can confirm, like the song, there is nothing like a dame. <laughs> But we then, so we then, so, uh -huh. so Judy's uh, uh, dress, I had to run all the way back to the dressing room, come back on with, the, with her skirt, and then she walked on like that. <laughs> and then all the things she used to do, like that, she couldn't do. So, so it was like doing the rest of the scene with somebody uh, acting in semaphore. <laughs>
you throw comedy punches? Yeah, all the time. Okay. Yeah. Would you, given that you have yes, been in a ring with him, yes. oh, look, oh, he's yeah. up for this. He's up for this. And it. you know how hard you have to punch him, Dawn. So you're asking me to punch... No, not really. ..an expensive Hollywood No, actor. don't break our Hollywood star. <laughs> well, I won't break him, then. You mean punch him like I punch Jennifer? Yeah, yeah. OK, well, then you okay. have to come and stand over oh, here. Yeah, let's do this. OK, yeah, do you know, you know what you're doing? Okay. You know what you're doing. OK. Yeah, well, okay. Okay. Well, you know you're going to go down? Yeah, I'll go down. Go down over yeah, there. Down. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to come in from this side. Yeah. And it's you're going to feel the wind. Okay. Pass your face. Okay. And I just heard you say that Sly is mischievous. He is. I'm not mischievous. Okay, so you're going to straight to the point. I'm a killer. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. 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 And if this doesn't work, I bite your knees. Oh, yeah. so, either way, you go down. Okay. 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 You ready? Okay. Right, okay. Don't do it before. Don't anticipate. Okay. I'm going to come close. All right. Let me just measure. Let me just oh, measure. Man. Oh, man. <laughs> okay. You got the ring? I've got, got a ring. bit of jewelry. I, I see the ring. Let's I go. see the ring. Are you ready? Right, let's do it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, good! Very good! Oh, man. Yeah, yeah very good. Help you up. All right. Let me help you up. All right. Sarah, because Jennifer's written a book called Bonkers. Yes. Cool. Story of your life. But I only want it if she signs it. Well, there's Would a she... picture of you in it. There is? is? Yes. OK, oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Happy. Oh, yeah. Um, I looked myself up in the index as well. Right. Um, Are you in there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing about writing your life is mm. trying to kind of remember it all. There was a bit mm. that you actually lost your own baby. Yes, briefly. Um, <laughs> yes, I did. Um, Aid and I were, were living in Richmond at the time, and I had um, three children. I imagine. Oh, so many to keep three, track three, of. Three, 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 hard to keep track of. Yes. And um, one morning, Aid got up and he went. He went and got the girls up, the two bigger girls who, you know, toddling around, and he took them down for breakfast. And I was to go and get the baby, and I went upstairs to the baby's room, and the cot was empty. And I thought, oh, that's unusual, isn't it? Fair. <laughs> <laughs> And you start thinking, yeah, baby should be in that car. It's <laughs> a bit strange. And um, so I thought, well, maybe AIDS picked it up and taken it downstairs for breakfast. So I go downstairs for breakfast. The heart's thumping a little bit. You think, this is odd. And um, I go downstairs, and AIDS feeding the other two, no sign of the baby. <laughs> and at which point I'm thinking, I should ask him, shouldn't I? <laughs> I should actually ask him. Then I think, no, he'll look at me. Like, people looked at Ingrid Bergman in Gaslight. They'll think, you're mad. <laughs> You've never had another baby before. <laughs> you haven't got two children, you idiot. <laughs> so I thought, no, I won't ask him. I'll go back upstairs. <laughs> I go upstairs. And I went back up to the baby's room, nothing. And I'm seriously thinking, have I actually... Am I gone mad? Have I actually got a baby? And so I went back down to my bedroom and I sat on the bed and as I leant down, I felt this little lump. <laughs> This is awful. Yes, Mum's net is awful. Um, <laughs> yes, I know you shouldn't do that. But I was breastfeeding her at night, and she'd she'd kicked herself. I'd fallen asleep, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> from tiredness, and she had kicked herself down to the bottom of the bed and was sort of right under the duvet, <laughs> right down the bottom of the bed. I mean, just fast asleep, still alive. She's still alive. <laughs> Suffered no damage. Uh, the whole thing that Villanelle, because she is this is quite an extreme character, presumably you get extreme reactions from fans and things when you when you meet people in the street. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people just look at me and think, "Is it her?" But I had one recently that was really strange. Someone asked me um, for a photograph, and I was like, "Yeah, sure," and, and was um, posing for a photograph, and then she quietly just whispered in my ear, "Will you strangle me?" <laughs> And my brother's sister was with me at the time, and she was like, no. <laughs> no. You swim with dolphins? No, well, I've taken up the hobby of scuba diving, which okay. I really, really enjoy. Um, and so we went down, I've been shark diving, which was kind of amazing, although I had a real close encounter with a shark recently. Little, low shark? It wasn't, it was about six feet, so... Did I it eat people? Was it well, that Well, it wasn't, but it, why right. are you trying to diminish my story? It's just the type of fish. <laughs> <laughs> you went near a fish. Let me tell you... <laughs> Story. I was near a fish Maybe once. Let me tell you. <laughs> it could have been your hand. It could have been your hand. Don't clap him. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I love you. Yeah. I'm one of you. I'm here for you. Yeah, I'm going to just shit on all of your stories. <laughs> Don't you have rules for swimming with dolphins? With dolphins? 
I heard that you're not supposed to touch a dolphin unless they come to you and offer themselves for a rub down. Oh! <laughs> you're, not supposed to, you're not supposed to touch them Why? if they don't, because dolphins mate for life, and if you touch one of them, the other one can smell your your touch on them, and they so think that they've cheated on them, and then they, you can break up a dolphin marriage. So that is true. That is fact. I know. I'm going to have to phone up SeaWorld directly. <laughs> <laughs> I've been down one's blowhole. <laughs> Well, Penelope Faith, she's had a dolphin orgy, if that's the case. I re yeah, I reckon, I reckon I've broken up a few dolphin what? marriages. <laughs> <laughs> um, I went to Cuba and I sort of was in a situation where they were like, do you want to swim with dolphins? And they actually taught me how to sort of be lifted up on the nose of two dolphins. And what, with stand. their foot on each on each. Nose. Now, if you think she's making it up, somebody filmed it. That's a good story. We've got the footage. Oh, shut up. Not, oh, I was near a fish once. <laughs> and two dolphins. It was a shark. It came like that to me. <laughs> that's not nice. Let's have a look at this. Yeah, let's have a look at this. This <laughs> nice work. I'm well into this. Now, look. Oh, brilliant. That's Paloma. It's not great to begin with. I'll give you that. It does look like a woman in the water. Now, what, watch this. Watch, what? 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 what, 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 what Have you got any footage of you near that fish? <laughs>